All right. Thank you very much, everybody. You're a great, great audience. I appreciate it. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Welcome to CNN, ComedyNewsNetworks.com. All right, people. In the news. Insanity. Please, James Holmes. Yeah. How about that headline? Not bad. But look, I know that's how many of us reacted, learning that James Holmes, the Colorado killer's insanity plea, actually held water. Yeah, go on and do. Now, of course, we aren't naive, living in some fantasy world. Of course, we didn't think that someone who would prepare for weeks, possibly months, all right, to carry out a well-planned and extremely detailed murderous assault against humanity would plead any other way. Think about it. There is no other plea for someone getting caught for such a horrific crime. Duh. No. I'm guessing. What we are all surprised by is that the so-called jury of his peers, that they would be so easily suckered so easily duped. Okay, granted, Colorado is not a death penalty state, historically, but the law is active. There are a few people on death row, and between them all, they have killed less innocent people than James Holmes put together. Wow. Think about that. One in particular, Sir Mario Owens. Now, he must be like, no, I'm going to try my accent here. What the hell? This punk ass orders a bunch of hard to come by assault gear and weapons, suits up wearing a bulletproof vest, headgear, arms and legs all padded up, and he got some eyewear and some protective covering for his neck. He carries extra ammo, looking like he's straight out of Christian Bale's Terminator. He sneaks into a full movie theater, leaving an escape exit for himself throws a couple of smoke canisters around, and then opens fire on a mass of innocent people. Now, he kills 12 of them people and injures 70 of them people. Now, all I, all I did was kill some guy and his fiance because they were gonna, you know, testify against my friend in a murder trial. And look at me, I'm on death row. Oh yeah, and I'm black, okay? Just like the only other person on death row here. Where's the justice? Okay, that was my best attempt at a black accent. accent. Okay, first, Mario, let me tell you something. You should not have been black. Now, you know how Americans love to kill black people. Get your head out of your ass, all right? Second, you should have declared insanity. And third, and most importantly, Instead of taking all your, you know, those good-looking, handsome mug shots you took, you should have made yourself look as mentally challenged as possible. Okay? Bug eyes and scrunched up faces always convince the jury. So in your case, my friend Mario, Sir Mario, fail. 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 <laughs> now, I've taken the liberty of making my own stupid-looking mug shots to further prove my point. Okay? Take a look at these photos and tell me which one okay, would not suffice as a mentally incompetent criminal. All right, check them out. Now the answer is none of these. Why? Because I'm black, stupid. I'm going to death row. Yes, where's the justice indeed? That must be what dozens of Colorado families from the dead and injured are asking themselves right now. Hell, I'm asking it too. And unlike many anchors on other news programs, guess what? I'm free to share my true opinion and feelings here on our CNN. So, I'm here to tell you, I think it's bullshit. Yeah! I think this little dirtbag has completely played the system from day one. All right, all the while knowing what he was getting himself into knowing he's from a state that would lean towards favoring insanity, okay? <laughs> knowing that his jury of his, his jury of peers, okay, would likely be religious folks. Knowing that they would 
not choose to send him to be judged by his maker. Instead, left to live in prison system where he will have healthy meals, better health care than two thirds of all Americans, be able to visit his own family on a regular basis, have television, recreational privileges, and on top of it all, you, the American taxpayer, will foot the bill. The thing is, some people should die. Some people do not belong in our civil society. A few religious, all of you religious fanatics out there preaching thou shalt not kill and whatnot and believing your God will ultimately judge the person, well then, why not expedite their journey to judgment? Otherwise, what's all that eye for an eye nonsense some of you are preaching about? Now, as for not killing sick people, let me tell you, anyone who willingly takes the life of another person for any reason at all, to some extent, and on some level, is sick. Sick of their child abuse, sick of their spouse cheating, sick of their country's politics, sick of someone's skin color, maybe even sick of their reporting the news. Now, as for James Holmes, unfortunately, we can't kill him 12 times. Once for each of the innocent people he chose to murder. Well, apparently, we can't kill him at all, at least not in Colorado. So the next best thing is let him live a long, healthy life in prison. James Holmes, if you're listening, if you're watching, you probably are because you're going to have television privileges. Well, congratulations, buddy. You're the winner. This is the other CNN, comedynewsnetworks.com. Thanks for watching.